Um, good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here. And today I'm uh, going to talk about our fundamental research concept named minimal manufacturing. Um, under this concept, we are now trying to establish the technological base which leads to tomorrow's industry innovation for sustainable society. Especially, I'm trying to realize the concept through inkjet technology. This photograph shows um, recent huge industry uh, establishment. On the other hand, this is a prototype of our superfine inkjet system. As you can see, the relatively small machine, which is placed on the desktop. Um, this, this biograph shows the uh, representative um, uh, results, which is patterned by our inkjet system. Uh, here is a scale 10 micrometer, and dot pitch is three micrometer. So the, um, uh, as you can see, the really precise patterning could be achieved with our inkjet system. And this is a, a image of our final goal. We want to reduce the scale of manufacturing process drastically uh, in final. Uh, first of all, I'd like to explain the background, our objective and the uh, motivation of minimal manufacturing. And next, I'll touch on uh, inkjet. Um, and then, uh, I, I'd like to introduce our superfine inkjet. And then, um, uh, if we have time, uh, I'd like to discuss about minimal manufacturing more. Okay, All right. let me introduce myself. I came from uh, Tsukuba in Japan, and the, here is Tokyo and Kyoto. And Tsukuba is a science city, and it's located about 60 kilometer north from Tokyo. Um, the AIST is the largest public research organization in Japan and with many research sites. And Tsukuba is a main site. And more than 3,000 people is working in all. Research field is uh, it's for, uh, very broad, from geographic technology to bio, IT, electronics, and uh, everything. And, um, and we have to think about the future manufacturing system in Japan and in world terms. Um, when you take a look at the uh, uh, produce flow in market, uh, oh, sorry, products flow in market because the market itself is governed by uh, economical prin principles. Cost and performance are the most crucial factor with less attention paid to fat effects are made on the global society by using resources and wasting materials and energy. Um, from the wide viewpoint, the environmental or ecological system collapses sometimes when we continue to leave things solely to the economical principles. So uh, here is an uh, uh, issue to be considered for uh, recent manufacturing systems. Uh, this biograph shows uh, what we want to do. The current manufacturing technology are classified 
into the following three major aspects. Uh, tech, oh, sorry, technology for reducing environmental load, I mean energy and resource saving. And the second is technology for practical, practical use, I mean f high productivity and low cost. And uh, advanced technology providing enhanced function to products. Uh, there are trade-offs among them. Um, the manufacture of products with maximum functionality using minimal inputs of resources and energy while minimizing their inherent environmental load. We call this technology uh, minimal manufacturing. By using a class of nanotechnology, including super inkjet technology, um, which I show you here today, AIST are uh, challenging for this biograph to be real. Uh, let me introduce the XLG. XLG is not new, but it's useful to discuss the minimal manufacturing. In the thermodynamics, XLG has been defined as a measure of the actual potential of a system to do work. XLG is also considered as an entropy-free energy in energetic, biological, and other systems. It's generally expressed by the uh, these equations, uh, where this is XLG, H means enthalpy, and T is uh, absolute temperature, and S is enthalpy. Um, and the subscript zero uh, stands for the environmental standard. So, uh, environmental standard is taken from uh, uh, Earth resources. Assume that there are, uh, for example, two product A and B, and the uh, uh, whose exercises in production stage are different from each other, uh, like this. Then after the usage and the disposal, is uh, exercise in waste state is still high while B is lower, um, nearly equal to the environmental standard. This difference uh, can be uh, regarded as a degree of environmental impact. Um, you can use Excel as a tool for better materials and structure design by reducing the Excel of the target products. It's possible to decrease the input Excel in production. For this purpose, we have to minimize the material and structure. In other words, uh, to design the material and the structure with the same function but lower weight and exergy. Um, I'll show you the example. Uh, this uh, Left, left finger shows the uh, structure uh, of uh, liquid crystal displays. Um, and LCD uh, consist consisted from uh, a lot of uh, layers, uh, a lot of uh, components. And to do uh, to realize the same function, the 
recently the uh, organic light emitting diode displays uh, launched and the basically organic light emitting diode is uh, sandwiched uh, uh, stack, stacks of organic layers between anode, anode and cathode. Um, there is no spacer, no oriented film, no polarizer, and the device can be very uh, thin. So by using uh, functional materials, you can simplify the device structure and result in the reducing both process steps and the resource consumption. Another approach to minimal manufacturing is process design. The XLD of target product is uh, target product is here. Um, Assume that the current process uh, is <laughs> like this, and the, if we change the process uh, designing, uh, we um, we take uh, another path to produce this product. Um, uh, minimal excess you come to this uh, something like this. Uh, we will find same target but the different process. I show you the examples. Uh, I, I introduce a photolithograph process. Uh, this is an extremely important process for electronic industry. Uh, um, but photolithograph uh, process is very wasteful process. Uh, here is a substrate, um, and it should be clean as possible. And the photosensitive polymer is coated uh, on substrate by using spin coater. Then photo exposure by using a pot mask and a strong. UV lights. The uh, the photo mask preparation is normally required several weeks at least and takes a lot of money. Um, then uh, using online solvent, part of the photo resist coating is removed, and we get the mask on substrate. The material which we want to use, for example, gold metal is deposited on substrate in vacuum chamber. And then lift off by using organic solvent again, and all of these polymers are waste, washed away. So then finally we can, we could get the uh, gold metal lines on substrate. Um, let me introduce inkjet technology. Inkjet technology is widely used as a home use printing. And inkjet head is moving and shooting the inks. And the, um, like this. And finally, we get some patterned image on the substrate. Employing this technique, we can deliver the materials where we want with minimum energy. And you can save st uh, process steps, and you can directly put on the material on the substrate. Uh, as you can see, the uh, photolithograph process is uh, uh, very complicated, and you have to waste uh, many energy and many natural resources. Uh, on the other hand, inkjet process is very simple steps, and the, with the minimum 
amount of natural resources to the substrate by minimal energy. And inkjet process has another merit. Uh, this uh, shows schematic view graph of output versus time. The uh, photolithograph technique uh, have to make a mask, so uh, it takes a read time. On the other hand, the inkjet process is uh, 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 very uh, fast to get a fast product. So um, it's a powerful tool for high mix low volume production or R and D use. So many inkjet application has been proposed. For example, uh, uh, this is a pattern by organic, uh, inkjet organic LED displays, and this is a SED, another type of flat panel display, and this is a projection. And I, um, uh, this this is uh, already launched in the market. The Alignment layer for or LCD is patterned by uh, inkjet, and this oh sorry, this is uh, uh, Rytorex uh, inkjet printer, and many uh, uh, applications. And even 3D structures you can easily realize by using inkjet process. Uh, this was done by uh, like this uh, firstly spread uh, powder, uh, for example, anhydrite by using a squeegee, then inkjetted water where you want to solidify then moving down the stage a little bit and spreading and inkjet, inkjetting again um, like this. And you, uh, this technique is very helpful for rapid prototyping. So uh, inkjet process is very useful and the uh, by using inkjet process, you can reduce the size of a factory. Um, large factory or comp uh, complex process has tend to have a large inertia, like, uh, like a large uh, fly wheels. Um, parallel process employing small facility factories with small investment will give you another merit for time response like this. So the supplier can make a product at right timing with the right volume um, by using on-demand manufacturing. Um, since the mass production tend to uniform and suppliers tend to impose their values on some uniform product. On the other hand, on-demand manufacturing will have a large variety, uh, which is make you happy. Uh, uh, straight ahead sushi restaurant is a good example for of on-demand on manufacturing. Um, again, uh, it should be uh, happy. <laughs> and small facility has another merit. Huge factory is a state of the earth for given environment, like dinosaurs. Uh, it is optimized for certain condition and it should be longer lifetime. But the, um, uh, and the energy eff efficiency would be nice if the boundary condition are stable. On the other hand, small factories like small animals, the lifetime itself may be 
uh, shorter, but it has ability to uh, adaption to environment, including muta mutation. So um, again, the, like a brainwashing or mind control, uh, <laughs> which is smart. So inkjet process seems very nice, and and it should be useful as an on on demand small factory to realize minimal manufacturing concept. But what's the limitation? Uh, one is the size of droplet. The volume size of inkjet droplet for commercially available inkjet printer is around one or two picoliter. That is 10 to 20 micrometer in diameter as a sphere. And it will spread over on the given substrate up to a few tens micrometer or more. Um, the volume size is small enough for printing use, but for industrial use or uh, nanotechnology use, we need more precise inkjet system. Uh, using our super inkjet, uh, some micrometer dots could be achieved on a substrate. It means three orders of magnitude smaller in volume than the dot produced by uh, than produced by current inkjet printer. Uh, here is a sample uh, which is patterned by our inkjet printer. I give. Uh, show you the uh, microscope, uh, please uh, look the uh, printed image. Um, the difficulty of small uh, droplets is like this. This biograph shows a kinetic energy versus uh, surface energy plots along the droplet diameter. Um, uh, smaller the droplet, the uh, surface e energy becomes dominant and less kinetic energy. And the, uh, this shows the Boltonian motion versus droplet size. This means the smaller droplet uh, makes uh, a less precise, precise uh, depositions. And to make pattern with liquid is not so easy for general substrate. Let's think about the water droplet on the foot of your car. If we want to draw a line, um, it should be broken. The surface tension is troublesome, troublesome business. Um, to solve th this, I'll talk a story. May I introduce a master nozzle? And here's a little pattern. Uh, here is a little pattern uh, droplet. <laughs> and Master said, may the force be with you. Uh, yes, Master. <laughs> but I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, but feeling means air resistance. And eventually, he settled down to dark side. I mean, <laughs> long position. Uh, this, <laughs> uh, this is an a episode of uh, Phantom Menace. So uh, since the surface energy is dominant as a small droplet, if we have a hydrophilic prepatterning on substrate, uh, Mr. Droplet uh, will be back to the correct position. This is the episode uh, return of the drop. And this uh, episode is simple and elegant. So many approaches have been uh, carried out um, in industry. Um, and the, 
this is our story, a uh, super fine inkjet. Um, more final droplet, uh, super fine droplet. And if he got uh, more force, you have to get more force. And he, uh, he um, eventually he will not go to the dark side. He should settle down to the correct position. So this, this is a uh, episode, A New Hope. Uh, oh, sorry. This, this is a prototype of our machine. The, uh, this is a microscope, and the, the, here is a uh, XY stage, and the inkjet he head is rotated here. Uh, maybe uh, a little bit difficult to see, but um, I'll show you another slide. Oh. Not working, uh, unfortunately. The, uh, the shooting the here, uh, you will see the blank, blinking the dots. So um, the dot pit is three micrometer, and the uh, line. Uh, pit is 15 micrometer for this case. This means a few micrometer line with us. Uh, if, if, you, uh, if we uh, control on off and we can make a very small uh, characters. Um, I, I uh, I developed the uh, this super inkjet because the uh, from uh, my personal motivation is developing as um, uh, uh, as a bridging technology between nanomaterials nanomaterials to macro functions in the field of nanotechnology research. Uh, uh, many nanoscale functional materials developing um, such as nanotube, nanoparticles, supermolecules, uh, biomaterials, but to manipulate uh, them, precise drop on demand technique with extremely small volume will be helpful. If we want to get some, uh, some more smart functions than bulky, uh, property from these materials, we need to deposit them uh, where we want. So, super inkjet is uh, very useful for to bridging um, nano and macro worlds. And the as an ink, we could use these uh, materials, carbon nanotubes. Uh, uh, ferroelectric ceramics, conductive polymers, and the uh, nanometer particles. Uh, uh, just one, uh, one sample. The carbon nanotube is a, a very uh, important material in nanotechnology field. The carbon nanotube is a good uh, for field emitters bright, cheap, flat panel display might be designed. The problem is how to align or how to make the patterned nanotubes. So our approach is like this. Um, transition uh, metal nanoparticle is well known as a carbon nanotube catalyst. So uh, using a catalyst ink, uh, we could get the catalyst array by inkjet printing, and then following uh, chemical vapor deposition, and finally we will get the patterned array of carbon and tubes. So the uh, this is a carbon and tube arrays, uh, no uh, catalyst arrays, 
and the cytoselective growth of carbon nanotubes, and this is a closer. So um, by using a catalyst technique, we could uh, get the patterned uh, nanomaterials. So uh, AIST has a, 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 like a, this super growth. It's a, a single wall carbon nanotubes uh, arrays, uh, very dense arrays. So uh, employing this technique, we could make a, a more smart functions from, uh, by using inkjet printing. So um, now I'd like to focus on the metal wiring. Um, we are using a nano paste. The nano paste is a, a five nanometer uh, uh, nano metal particles ink, and uh, it has a be, uh, very low viscosity, so inkjetable. And the uh, okay, I skip this slide. Uh, nanoparticle is very uh, active, so uh, very easy to sintered. Uh, after sintered, you uh, uh, like uh, metal films. So by using uh, this, uh, we can uh, print uh, 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 circuits. So uh, after injecting and sintering, you will get these metal wires. Uh, you, you can pretend uh, directly on substrate. And we don't need a, a hydrophobic, hydrophilic pre uh, Comparing with the uh, current inkjet technology, uh, uh, we can make a, a very thin, uh, very fine wires. And comparing uh, with the current technology, we can make uh, like this. So, um, uh, unfortunately, not working the video. Uh, uh, I want to say the uh, why, why the in our cases uh, why the uh, surface tension not affect to the patterning. Uh, here is a, a landing spot, and the, uh, you can see a black region here, and the. Uh, the color is changing black to white. This means the uh, liquid is drying uh, quickly, and the uh, and the it makes uh, lines. Uh, since the droplet size is very small, uh, so after landing or even in flight, the droplet is losing its solvent by vaporization. So in our cases, um, the, uh, uh, during the process, the ink, the uh, viscosity of ink is remarkably uh, increasing. So in our cases, uh, free from a uh, buzzy effect. Um, so, um, I'd like to focus on the uh, application of our technologies, uh, I mean interconnection area. 
Um, such a fine wiring would be useful for interconnecting technology. The, uh, this shows the uh, schematic view graph of the cost versus wiring technology, uh, um, patterning pitch. Um, in the uh, uh, semiconductor chip, the uh, wiring uh, done by a photolithograph technique. On the other hand, the uh, printing board is done by a screen printing. And there is a technology vacuum uh, between a few micrometer range to a few tens micrometer range. Uh, this um, uh, interconnection is uh, very important because the, to get more smart function or to get more dense packaging, you need the interconnection wire. Uh, the interconnection wiring should be more fine. Um, like this. Um, by using our super inkjet technology, the, uh, uh, this is an example of one micrometer line with us. Uh, here is scale. Um, we will get a more uh, smart, dense packaging. So the, uh, the problem is how uh, he, uh, here is a uh, uh, super inkjet lines, and this is an integrated circuit of uh, calculators. And these uh, parts uh, for uh, uh, wire bonding. So, uh, bonding wire is uh, normally uh, a few tens micrometer, so we need uh, more than 100 micrometer pitch parts. But if we could uh, wiring uh, from directly from the chip to board, um, it will make a more uh, dense, uh, uh, smart packaging. But the problem is how to connect here to here. Uh, inkjet process is a uh, non-contact printing process. As you can see, the, uh, you can wiring uh, from bottom and top of the structure all at once. Of course, in this case, the line, uh, the wall is too steep. so. Uh, line is broken, but if there is uh, uh, angles, the line is uh, climbing up. And this is the example. Um, I'm sorry, they, uh, it's very hard to see, but the, uh, here is uh, some structures, and the, here is uh, lots of gold lines, and the line is climbing up on the wall. Um, so, um, super inkjet can print not only fine lines but also 3D structures. This is an example. Uh, if you're jetting uh, at the same point, the fast drying nature is uh, useful for this. Um, you can make uh, these micro bumps. The process is very repeatable, so you will get these arrays. Oh, oh so, sorry. Uh, 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 this is an interesting uh, video movie, uh, but uh, can't work. Oh. Um, this is a landing spot, and you, you can see the, uh, the um, metal pillar is going up 
at here. And this, this lower part is a mirror image because this is a, a silicon wafer, so very reflective substrate. As you can see, the uh, the uh, the inkjetting is very precise, so uh, uh, the uh, pillar is growing up like this. Uh, if you are uh, scanning the nozzle like this, you will get like this three-dimensional structure. Uh, so uh, this is an example of a connectors, socket and connectors. And the, uh, this is another example of uh, build-up multi-layers. Uh, probably the uh, world's smallest uh, pattern by inkjet printing. The, this is a pillar for interconnection the, between uh, layers. And the, this is an uh, insulating layers. Um, I guess to introduce new, uh, sorry, new technology, it it would be a classified three steps. Phase one is just a process optimization of process substitution. The example of inkjet process as a substitution of current technology like a photograph to inkjet process. And phase two is material minimization by changing device structures. So, uh, I mentioned the uh, example of LCD to online query deeds. And phase, phase three is more infrastructure stage. By using the uh, on-demand factory, you may realize the zero physical dis distribution cost and zero read time manufacturing system. Um, but we need a social system change. So uh, we need uh, not only uh, technology, but also we have to think about this infrastructure design. So um, maybe time is up. This is a summary. Thank you very much. From the floor, I'll we'll put the lights on too. If uh, Dan, could you pop the lights on to your left there? Thank you, sir. Thank you. What is the uh, uh, narrowest wire you can uh, Sorry, head this back. way? You should uh, the narrowest wire. What's the narrowest one? Uh, yeah, and, and, uh, the, and the wire has to be conductive. Uh, sorry. Well, sometimes you can print something, but it doesn't actually conduct electricity because uh. it's it's too thin, it's too sparse. Uh. So Narrowest conductive wire. Narrowest conductive wire. Uh, that's a good, good question. The, um, um, as you can see, the, the, this is an example of one micrometer line. The, uh, the uh, um, crystal is, um, nanoparticle is sintering and growing up. And the, uh, there is a particles, so sometimes the uh, broken the uh, uh, because growing up the particle size the uh, uh, it becomes higher the uh, sintering temperature. And then, then some point the uh, it was the uh, driving force and broken. So uh, one, 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 uh, uh, one micrometer is a, a limit. One micrometer. Yeah. In, 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 the, in the nano silver, uh, it fuses at room temperature. Does it fuse into single crystal or polycrystal? And can you do the same thing with silicon? Uh, so so the, the, a nanoparticle is uh, single or poly? Uh, I don't think you quite understood the question. Just, just go, go 
particles uh, after after uh, no no uh, it's a pole twist. Silicon, yeah, uh, it's um, uh, some companies uh, in, invent their uh, technologies uh, related how, to silicon. Yeah. How do you make the submicron droplets, and how do you beat the Brownian motion in the air? Yeah, good, good question. <laughs> well, I'm using the uh, electric force to uh, adding uh, uh, kinetic energy. So elect uh, um, electrostatic force is uh, strong for uh, micro meter range. Uh, I, I'm using that, that force. What is the distance from the nozzle to the substrate? Um, uh, to uh, accurate patterning, it's um, good to uh, closer is make closer is good accuracy. But I, I can um, print with uh, around a few uh, several hundred micrometer. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, as uh, as you could see, the uh, you you couldn't see the uh, nozzle uh, 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 in the frame. It, it's quite uh, away from substrate. Even so, uh, you you will get a good accuracy. Two two questions. Two questions. Oh, okay. Why not inkjet in a vacuum? No. No. Uh, it's uh, air. Why not? Why and, not? Uh, room temperature. Why? Why not? Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, can can. If air resistance is a problem, uh, why why not use a vacuum or semi vacuum? I I have not tried it. I've not tried yet in vacuum. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Second, um, can you make transistors of any size? Yes. Yeah, I tried to how make a transistor. How big? How big? Uh, how small? Made. How small? Can how you small? Make? I, uh, <laughs> uh, ch what you size? Mean, you mean channel, channel. length? Uh, five micrometer or less. Other qu other questions? I think this is a great talk. Let's uh, thank him for coming today. Thank you. I'm sure he has time for a few questions if anybody wants to pop up and uh, say hello.